like every birthday now, I usually go out and buy myself something stupid. And I kind of just have that bug all over again. Good morning, boys. We are starting the day off with a road trip up to Newport Beach. It's only about an hour and a half drive. We're about 10 minutes out from our destination. And today, we're going shopping for a new supercar. The 458 is gone. The shop's looking a little bit empty. I'm feeling a little sad. I've been looking at a few other builds. We've talked about some stuff in the past. And I'm not going to tell you guys what specifically I'm going up to this dealership to look at. For that, I'm going to leave it a little bit of a secret. But there are a few cars that I am interested in. So we're going to browse. We're going to look at some stuff. We're going to feel it out. We're going to do a couple butt tests. And more or less just enjoy this Monday morning and spend some time with some supercars. So my birthday is coming up. It's on the 29th of December. When I turned, no, I think when I was 21, before turning 22, I bought myself the R35 GTR. I loved it. I owned it for a year. And almost like every birthday now, I usually go out and buy myself something stupid. And I kind of just have that bug all over again. So I guess you really never know, but today is supposed to be a browsing day. Make sure what I really think I want is exactly what I do want. Sit in it, kind of get a feel for it. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm really not gonna be trying to give anything away today because I kind of want you guys to be in on the surprise if we end up going through with it in the next week or so. Well, who knows? If anything, we're gonna enjoy the day and hang out with some exotics. Never a bad deal. There's a few cars in here that I'm seriously considering. I don't know, boys, but after all of our Aventador talk, I think we should at least go sit in one. Oh my god, this thing is making me drool. That blue interior is so much cooler than it looks in person. I saw a bunch of these cars online before coming here, but let's check this out. This color, matte white. Love it. The thing, the thing is with the Aventadors is they're... This is a 2012, and they started in 2012, and they're still making them today, but they do low-key feel kind of, I don't want to say dated in the interior, but sometimes I get a little hint of, like, it looks a little bit dated. I mean, it is a 2012. It's coming up on its 10-year mark. Not to say, uh, I'm going to get crucified for that. It doesn't feel dated. There's just some aspects, like the steering wheel for some reason, just to me feels a bit funky compared to, like, 458s or R4, R4. R4 Hive was a 2015 and felt a lot of more, felt more new on the steering wheel, but everything else on this car, like the tack and all the displays, everything is, feels much more modern, I would say, even though it is all Volkswagen. Or is it Audi, whatever the two, same, same. This video is sponsored by Ring. This is the busiest time of year for holiday travels, deliveries, and visitors. So be sure to take some extra time and upgrade your home doorbell to make sure everything is safe and secure while you're not there. Ring helps you stay connected to your home no matter where you are. Ring allows you to see, hear, and speak to visitors when they come to your front door via your phone. You guys know how much of a fan I am of Ring. I have it installed at my house. And the biggest reasons to why it is my favorite feature in my house is because no matter where I am, I can always feel like I have an eye on what's going on. I'm always ordering and stuff off the internet. I'm very guilty of that and I'm always notified when anyone comes to my front door or leaves a package on my garage because I have motion sensors around my house. So whenever there's motion activity, I get an alert to my phone and I pull up a live feed of exactly what's going on outside my house. And with this holiday season coming up super quick, Ring is giving you guys the opportunity to get a smoking deal on the Ring welcome kit by using ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt. This kit comes with a video doorbell and a Chime Pro, which is all you need to start a Ring of security around your home today. With this kit, you'll feel the sensation of always being home and always knowing what's going on. Not only is this a great idea for yourself in your own home, but it's also an opportunity to snag up a gift for any close friends or family this holiday. Be sure to go to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt to take up this offer or click the links down below in the video. Thank you so much for Ring for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. I didn't, I guess realize is I didn't notice that the 720s were selling used for under a quarter million. I thought these cars were like at least three hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dollars and don't get me wrong two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is still a lot of money but this car is so insanely wicked it's literally should not be street legal and the fact that this thing is only two this one's selling at 239 i know that sounds ridiculous and yes it is very expensive but for the amount of car that you're getting it's pretty like it's pretty good 
I heard there was a law Ferrari in the back. Rumors are true. I mean, one day. You know what I mean? Like, not today, not anytime soon. But I mean, one day, I believe. Oh, gosh. I feel like I'd be doing us all a service if I didn't show the Senna that was here. The paint job on that thing is ridiculous. I know you guys can kind of see it right now in the light. Hopefully the next owner doesn't catch on fire on them. Oh God, too soon, boys, too soon. Yellow's just not a bad color on McLaren. 259, 2019, this thing's brand new. Alex Choi, watch out, buddy. I'm coming. Ah. Oh, there goes La Ferrari. Oh! Oh my God. Yikes. That's a scary car just to be driving on the street right now. God damn. Oh my gosh. Imagine getting into an accident with that. Just like end your life at that point. All right, we are heading over to a different dealership. We are literally right down the street. Whoa. Oh, mustache check, boy. We are right down the street from Lamborghini of Newport. I have tons of friends who work there, so we're gonna go there and just say what's up, see what they have, browse some inventory, seven minutes away. This purple and the GT3 color is literally one of my most favorite colors ever. 216 asking price, Mr. LZ. Oh. And they have a ton of inventory here. This is the Newport Beach location. I've been here a few times in the past with videos. <gasps> Oh, the Lusso. God, I love this car. I don't know if you guys remember that. We had this not too long ago from Ferrari. Shout out to Ferrari. The Uricon is a car that I've been honestly been thinking about for the longest time, and I've rented them a couple times, and I've been given them a couple times by various companies whatnot. I love the car, but to me, it's just really not that comfortable. I've never, like, loved it, loved it, but I, like, love it. Maybe it's because I just didn't drive it in the right setting. Maybe it's because I just didn't love the spec that I have, but these cars are epic, but... I've never just been like head over heels for them. I don't know why. Like it's a great car, don't get me wrong. Absolutely like, I love it, but I don't like love it, love it. An Evo is a car that I was looking at, I will be honest. It had a, has a little bit more spice, but again, I couldn't like get down with it all the way. Forged, forged carbon interior, what the heck? And it has like the LCD display on the inside. Crazy. Looking like McLaren with that interior. And then you mosey your way down to like the F you money. The like, I'm gonna do whatever I want on the street and no one can stop me. One day, boys, one day, we'll be here. It ain't now, it ain't gonna be for a while, but one day we'll be here. Oh, I love this car so much. This is my dream car. But this is just some serious cash. Oh, sad boy. So I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is exactly that we were looking for today, but I wanted to bring you along just to kind of share the experience. I always love going and looking, and I always tell myself, if you don't drool about it and dream about it, you'll never actually end up getting it. So it's important to look. It's important to go and see things and. And honestly, just like visualize the experience of buying them in general. I owe a lot of like my drive to that. And this is a personal thing more than anything else, but if you're not like actively dreaming for it and visualizing it, I feel like your chances of actually end up doing it are a lot less. So going and seeing them, these cars in person, although they're like, they seem like, you know, years and years away of actually owning it, it's important to go out there and see them and, and visualize them. and. Be the car. That being said, let's start our drive home. Woo, your boy almost flew by that cop up there. You guys just should have seen how hard I slammed on my brakes. And simultaneously, as I slammed on my brakes, I could feel a huge fireball igniting out the back of the exhaust of the RX-7. Woo, almost got a rip, rip, rip. Are you ever just like driving on the freeway and you're like, wow, why is everyone driving like such a right now why are we going so slow and then you accelerate and then as you accelerate your eyes widen in slow motion as you realize oh sh that's a cop right there that's what just happened to me 
But we here, baby. We alive. We still out here getting it. And it's always that awkward moment of like, hmm, we're going 85. The cops go in 85. Can we drive next to the cop while going 85? Or should I stay behind him? Those are the thoughts that I have on a daily basis. And my luck today. But every time I'm in my cars, I'm telling you guys, I don't usually get messed with by cops. I just like pulled right in front of these boys and they don't seem to mind at all. I always tell you, if you just drive respectfully or they see you drive respectfully, cops will leave you alone for the most part. Maybe, maybe not. Knock on shift knob again, but this car is the noisiest, loudest, smokiest out of all of them. And I feel like because I'm just not, I don't know, we're having good luck lately. And I'm just enjoying it, that's all. We're almost home, I'm starving. Me and Sabrina have a secret little lunch spot that we're gonna go to, and I'm gonna let you guys in on. Those who live in San Diego, there's a restaurant called Cheese News. Come here. It is how you pronounce it. Cheese, cheese news. Come here and get the spicy chicken melt. You'll literally die and go to heaven. Thank me later. Hello. <laughs> come get some air time. If I come over there, I'm gonna take a bite out of the gingerbread house. I'll let you take a bite. Really? Yeah, can I give you a piece mm -hmm. to do it out of? Yeah. There, hmm. I haven't built a ginger house since 04. I'm kidding. I don't know in the last time I did a gingerbread house. I really think I should just like tell you guys what car I was looking at, but I really kind of want to keep it a secret. I don't even know if I'll get it. Let's be honest here. I haven't gone down that path yet. It gets really scary when buying, look at my hair right now. That's just a lot of money, yo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We need to connect the bridge. Come on, just help me help me make the base. That's all I ask. Help me make the base. I already cut it. You just gotta lay down. So you just gotta lay me a bead. Oh, lay me a bead. Okay. Come on. You know, you don't act like you don't know how to do it. Sprinter, what do you think about the car I want to buy? Hmm. I. Think you know, it's a bad. I shouldn't even be asking you because girls don't get it. Wow, that's actually rude because I've been telling you all day that you should get it. And I think it's really pretty. And I don't think the color matters because your ass is gonna change in any ways. I can't decide if I want a roadster or not. What? What is the difference? Roadster means that the top comes off. Why does that matter? Are you kidding me? It means everything. That's a solid connection right there. Really get an up close angle over here for them because I'm doing some good work. Has this been good icing? Have you tried oh, it? Oh man. Look at that. That thick bead on my lip. That looks good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real good. That's real good. Okay, this is the part that stresses me out a little bit. But I think I'll, I think I'll be able to do it. I'm carrying the team here. You gotta help me out. Sorry. I was making sure the candy wasn't poison. The key to any strong building is a solid foundation. Which I created. Yeah, I needed to get patched up. Hell yeah, boy. Um, well, I hope the rains don't come. So as I told you, my birthday is on the 29th. Sabrina's birthday is on the 21st. Her birthday present becomes before... Actually, I don't know if we'll have the car by then. Because I want to get the car for my birthday. That's the whole idea. That's the premise. That's the go-getter factor. Which means you have 13 days. That's less than two weeks. Wow, you're right. I'm gonna tell you guys this, because I don't want to cook you guys. In no particular order, there was a million cars in the video. Name me the cars. 488, Huracan Evo, Aventador, 720, 570, GT3, F12, boom, I said it. One of those, one of those. F12? Yeah, ooh. What's that? Well, 
Damon just got that car, but mm. that's all I'm gonna say. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving. What are they showing my house? Oh yeah, house check. <laughs> it looks like it looks like crap. I I think it's because I I cheaped out on the like we ran out of frosting and there was no didn't turn out as good as I wanted.